Good afternoon. It's me, River Wolfston, your counselor for Canyons Online, and today I want to share a little spot of organization. Uh, organization is a huge part of uh, being able to keep track of things so you can find them and being able to make sure that you get things done when they're supposed to get done. So um, like with all of the other little spot books, this is written by, written and illustrated by Diane Albert. If you love her books as much as I do, they can be found on Amazon, Amazon Kindle, or dianealbert.com. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi, we are Little Spots of Organization. We are going to show you some ways that you can be organized. We would love for us to help you more yet. Our, our parents would really, really, really love for uh, uh, you to help us. I just don't know how this room got so messy. First, let's find some containers we can put things into. Then we can start sorting them into piles um, of toys and games and cars and blocks. This is overwhelming. There's so much stuff. Where do we even start? When tackling a big project like this, it's good to break it into small chunks. And this works really well with schoolwork too. I separated the room into sections. This way it doesn't seem so overwhelming. And you can start with one section at a time. Another strategy is to play a song and before it ends, have all of the items in that section picked up and, and put back where they belong. Everything has a spot and there's a spot for everything. You can make it kind of like a game. Labor, labeling colored bins is a super helpful way in sorting and finding out what you're looking for quickly. Those of you who like Legos as much as I do probably have bins in your house that are labeled with the different kinds of Legos that go in the different bins. To reduce clutter, it's helpful to create piles of things that you want to keep or donate or things that are in the trash. Or if you're like the kids at my house, um, dishes that are in your room that are not supposed to be. If you're listening to this, you know who you are. I know donating toys can be hard, but you're really helping a child that doesn't have any toys, uh, and this can be a really kind thing to do. Um, and maybe also you're, you're sharing something that, that you really enjoy, and you're able to share that with somebody else who can enjoy it too. After a birthday is a great time to donate toys. It gives you a chance to go through the toys that you've outgrown because you're now a year older. And maybe um, you have new things or different things or you have different interests. Do you remember when you were a baby and you used to play with this toy all the time? I do. I, I still play with that because my daughter has one. Um, should we give it to another baby? That's a great idea. See, when you focus on one task at a time, it makes organizing things so much better. Well, that, that went really fast. We've got games and cars, stuffed animals, blocks, stuff to donate, stuff that needs to go in the garbage. Make sure they don't get those two mixed up. You don't want to end up donating your garbage or throwing all your donations away. Sometimes it can be useful to have adult or uh, older sibling help you. Whoa, look how amazing this room looks. If your parents see your room clean like that, they are going to lose their minds. See, everything has a spot, and there is a spot for everything. Did you know that organizing actually grows your memory? It does this by training your brain to separate and categorize things. This can also be used in reading. You have to keep track of many things at once while you're reading, like characters and plots and events and details. Let's look at some other ways that you can be organized. I hadn't ever thought of that actually, to like organize your memory and that that's kind of an organization thing. I didn't know that. Creating a routine will not only help you remember to do things like clean your room, um, it can also help you grow your responsibility spot and your confidence spot. 
because you grow confidence by successfully doing things. And the more you successfully do things and the more you complete things, the more confident you are that you can do that. You can use magnets instead of drawing spots in all of the boxes. A lot of us have these on our refrigerator or anything magnetic in our house, like a whiteboard. Um, that way you can keep track of what you're doing and what gets done. Creating a to-do list is a great way to organize what you need to achieve. And it also gives you a strategy for getting all the things done. I do it electronically on my computer, this computer right here that I'm talking to. Yeah, it's in there. And I set alarms and stuff. Writing down notes helps you remember things that you might forget. Just be sure to put, be sure to put the notes where you're going to see them easily and remember to do them. I just love spot stickers. You can use these multicolored spots to color code a calendar. It's easier to see which family member has going on which day when you know which spot represents which person. When you have to write a story, it can be challenging to come up with an idea. You have to organize your thoughts by creating a story map. This is something that you do, especially as you get older, when you go to middle school and when you go to high school, you have to organize your thoughts and knowing how to create like a story map or a character map or a thought map, it's really, really helpful. You can also use a story map to help understand a story that you're reading. This can help you remember important elements of the story. Oh no, it looks like a scribble spot needs some help organizing some emotions. And we're going to do the book on the scribble spot because I think that's a really helpful one to help you figure out what you're feeling. If your emotions are feeling tangled, anger, and anxiety, or sadness are probably nearby. The first step in organizing your emotions is to identify what emotion you're feeling and so you can manage it. And if you um, have read any of, if you've listened to any of the books on the zones of regulation, or if you've looked at our tools to try in the student center, you'll know some of the different ways to deal with some of the different zones and the different feelings. Look, Scribble Spot was able to identify what he was feeling and guide it to its peaceful spot. Yeah, it's now much more peaceful and calm. Woohoo! All of his emotions are organized now. Hopefully you were able to see how you can organize some aspects of your life from cleaning your room to managing your emotions. Schoolwork is also a big one too. If you can organize your schoolwork, what you do, during the day, when you do it, just that can help you to uh, learn better, actually. Can't wait to see what you do next to organize. And there are a lot of different, all of these uh, different things that you see on the screen right here are available free to download at www.dianalbert.com. Um, and I'm gonna download them too, put them in our student center um, so that you can have access to them. All right. It has been so much fun sharing this book with you. Um, as always, I am River Wolfston, your counselor for Canyons Online. I am glad that I could share this time with you. And I want you to remember that you are safe and you are special. Very, very important to me. And I'm glad you're here. Bye.